all welcome back to another video this time i'm reviewing the great aussie coin hunt that has officially ended for me because it was over four weeks and you virtually had to spend money to actually get a gold coin or such so you're probably wondering why is it called the great aussie coin hunt celebrating australia from a to z well a i'm gonna bring up a little something for me to do so I need to actually have my iPod because there is one town and I do mean one town Because when I get to the to one letter, there's actually one town in the whole of Australia that only starts with X. And I'm gonna say this right now. I may butcher the name of said town. I am not entirely sure. But as you can see from the front, I'll just uh, open it this way. So, we've got the inside, we've got the back. As well, so let's turn it around. So, we have the coins themselves. So, starting with a, we actually have the Australia Post, we got Boomerang, we got Cricket, Didgeridoo, Esky, Football, G'day mate, for G. I I is the, um, oh, now I forget him. <laughs> I, I had the thing. Uh, I know H is hit the hills hoist, J is for jockey, K is kangaroo, L is the lamington, M's the um the meat pie. Wow, people are actually selling these on eBay. Stupid. So, I think that's the ice. Yeah, H is the hills, hills hoist. This is the ice Volvo. J is Jackaroo and Jillaroo. As you can see. Uh, K is the kangaroo. L is the lamington. M's the meat pie. Uh, N is Neighbours, which is the Australian Neighbours is an Australian TV icon. Not only is it the longest running drama series on Australian television and enjoyed by over 60 million people around the world, it has brought beloved Carl and Susan Kennedy into our lives. For that, we are eternally grateful. Did you know the iconic outdoor set is one of the largest standalone sets in the Southern Hemisphere? That is Neighbours. O is the Outback, because of the windmill. Now this is where it gets interesting, because we got the platypus. As you can see, if you can see it. Uh, then we got the... I think that's the Kiwako. Is that the happiest animal on earth? Kiwako. These little Aussie wallabies love people and are happy to smile for the camera. Hmm. Uh, we got Royal Flying Doctors. 
Well, this is pretty, pretty standard. It's Earth life saving. T is Telstra or Tong. It's, well, it's virtually thongs. Yeah, it's thongs. Thongs, which is the um, um from the beaches, the shops, and even the local RSL. They're perfect for sun from protecting feet from burning sand, sizzling footpaths, and prickly bindies. But the dedicated Aussies can be spotted wearing them all year around. No claim and no road, a giant thong. At the 2000 Summer Olympics, well, the 2000 Sydney Olympic Ceremony. Uh, I know I'm going to cop a lot of flack here, but U is actually <laughs> the Ute. It's not a truck. This is a ute. In Australia, this is a ute. Um, plenty of room for bikes, dogs, and surfboards. Ute is a true blue Aussie invention. Suck it. USA. You're driving around in a utes? You're driving around in utes that were invented in Australia. So, call them what they are, please. They are not a truck. They are a ute. From its origin as a pig transporting passenger car to becoming one of the most popular working vehicles in the country, the ute is deep seated in Australian culture. Did you know in 2018, three of the top four selling utes, or selling vehicles in Australia, were utes? I should say. Uh, v is Vegemite. I don't like Vegemite, so. Uh, w is Wheat Bix, if you can see the bowl. So W is Wheat Bix. Now, this, this is where a little bit of history. This is the only town in Australia that is in Western Australia that has X. It's Zantippi. Around 240 kilometers north of Perth, X marks a spot on the, this tiny community in the region of Delawinu. The 20 residents of Zantippi are very proud to live in the only place in Australia that starts with the letter X. Did you know Zantippi doesn't qualify for its own postcode? So it shares code 6609 with Delawinu, which is 33 kilometers away. Why is the Yowie or the Yowie? Yeah, Yowie. Um, the origin of mythical Yowie is found in Aboriginal Dreamtime, where they're also known as Yahoos. Wow, Yahoo can actually be sued into oblivion for that. Blatant disregard for Aboriginal heritage. They're a common legend around Australia and generally described as tall, hairy, human-like creatures that lives in the bush. No stories of similar creatures also exist in other countries, including the US, Sasquatch, and the human Yeti. And a personal favourite of mine for any summer, and I do mean for any summer, is the Zupa Dupa. Since the 1970s, we've kept cool in the summers by running under the sprinklers and diving on Back out slip and slides with a super duper in hand. The iconic colourful icy poles aren't just delicious. They're essential for surviving hot Aussie days in the sun. Here's a fun fact. Did you know Australia's favourite flavour is cola? Followed by lime and raspberry. And I can actually assess to that because I love the damn cola flavour. So you're probably... Wondering, what am I going to do with all 26 coins? Am I going to spend it? No. No, no. No, 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 no. I am not going to spend these 26 coins. Because the folder alone actually cost $9. So, over the course of four weeks, I've racked up $35 sitting right here. That's $35 sitting right in front of me. 
and in this video. Though I'm not actually going to talk about every single coin. Because A, the boomerang is a classic. Classic boomerang is a treasured link to many generations of indigenous history and during Asians cricket. Well, you can virtually play cricket in anywhere now. I mean, you can play it on the beach, you can play it indoors, you can play it on a field, you can play it in the park. Didgeridoo, the sinking sounds of didgeridoo are merely associated with Australia around the globe. Uh, the airski, best thing to have during summer. Because it's picnics, but footy, barbecues, going to the beach and such. The football, yeah, you can kick that on the field and such. Uh, Good day, mate. It's an iconic warm Aussie greeting known around the world. Though, it, um, in some cultures, it, mm, I'm not entirely sure what some cultures actually call it because I have no idea of how to translate good day, mate into Japanese, Chinese, or um, Indian, or Hindu, or whatever. Uh, the Hills Hoist is an iconic Australian. And, um, fixture from my childhood, because I remember running up, grabbing onto the Hill Hoist, and just going around in a circle. Yes, you wouldn't believe it, but I actually used to swing on a Hills Hoist just bare hand. And they were tough as nails in the day now. They're just pieces of shit. And I can virtually say that. The Hills Hoist was actually made from stronger material than what it is now. Uh, the Ice Volvo, for over 110 years, the Arnott's Ice Volvo has been a favourite treat in homes and offices across Australia. Yes, I love them. They're the best biscuit. To have uh, the Jackaroo and Jillaroo. Jackaroos and Jillaroos are enduring representation of the adventure, which is adventurous and regular Australian outback. Country born or new chums, these young Aussies are heroes in training. Yeah, um, there are schools that teach skills such as horse handling, sheep shearing, and mustering to young Jackaroo and Jillaroo hopefuls. Uh, the kangaroo, uh, it's the kangaroo is an Aussie icon. Lamington is exactly the same. So, Lamington's are an Australian's national treasure as well. Uh, the meat pie. Uh, 1880s LA became famous for a particular dish sold by street vendors. The pie floater. A dish of an upside down meat pie served in a bowl of pea soup. Ugh! I'll just take the good old 4 and 20 and the Angus ones. Now, we've been over Neighbours, been over the Outback, Platypus. Uh, actually, the Outback, which is the, um, you'll find it out near Whoop Whoop and beyond the Black Stump. It covers the top end, the Red Centre, and the mysterious Never Never. The Outback is one of the largest intact national areas on Earth. And it's uh, in our very own backyard. And I do mean it's in my own backyard because I can get to I get and go and see the outback whenever I want. It's just that I don't want to. I really go to Disneyland. It's like yeah, but yeah, that's on my that that's on my to do list later. As in like when I get around to it, I don't want to go to the outback and go. Well, here's my review of the outback. It's hot. It's everything. Considering that the temperatures can range. Between minus 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck out there. In 50 degrees Celsius day. Because you would be wanting water, water, and more water. 10 minus 10 degrees Celsius. That's beyond freezing of water. Uh, Royal Flying Doctor's Service, which actually operates in Northern Territory, I think some parts of South Australia, and Western Australia. Mainly Western Australia and Northern Territory. The Royal Flying Doctor's Service helps someone every two minutes on any given day. 
These heroes provide primary healthcare and emergency services in rural and remote areas of Australia. And uh, service in communities that don't have access to a doctor or a hospital. And here's a fact. In 2018, the service flew over 26 million kilometers, which is the equivalent of flying to the moon and back 34 times. Yeah, let, I'm letting that info sink in because 34 times, which is 26 million kilometers, that is well and truly a lot of Ks on the old speed monitor. And here's another fun fact about the Royal Service, Royal Flying Service, as well, or the Royal Flying Doctors, I should say, Doctor Service. They actually had to use parts of road in Western Australia and Northern Territory, and I think some parts of South Australia, to actually land on and take off from if they are there for an emergency. So everyone has to clear the road. Trucks can't go. Cars can't go. Places set up ev everything else because they are the only things that can actually get there to a person who can actually then fly that person to a nearby, say, airfield where an ambulance would be waiting or an ambulance chopper or, yeah, ambulance helicopter to actually take them to an actual hospital. That's what the Royal Flying Doctor Service also does. So, in closing, I'm loving this set. I'm going to put this set away. I do mean I'm going to put this set away because I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm not spending the one dollar coins that I collected over four weeks. The third week was um massive because um it was also a road trip as well. Um. It was something. Images, because they had um a thing for like week by week. Now I don't even know where it went to. And I have no idea where it went to. But I can actually show. Because it's in my gallery. So. I've actually been using the same photo. So we had A, F, I, M. S. An X for the first week. Week two was B D J O R U. Week three was the one that nearly killed me. It was eight coins. G H K N P Q V Y. And today I got C E L T W Z. So that's all twenty six coins. And I can virtually just go, I can delete this checklist because I have no need for it now. I don't need the checklist anymore. I have the coins. I have them all. So I'm going to end here. I'll see you video at the end of the month. It's still being planned. It is. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything for it yet. I have no idea, but we'll see, see at the end of the month, on what transpires, but 
Thank you for watching. Comment down below what you like to collect and let's discuss. Let's have a discussion about collecting. What you like. I mean, I like coins, I like stamps. I like my Transformers, I like Kamen Rider, I like Super Sentai, which is Power Rangers, in the West. I love Lego minifigs. Seriously. She's two pace. I like stuff that actually comes with games. Like Jack Sally here, who came with the Avatar the video game. For Xbox 360 and, and PS3. So, I'll see you next video. What? Like, and share the video as much as you want. Tell your friends. About everything. And here's a little here's a little thing. There's the youth, there's the dog. There's two people enjoying what looks to be like uh one's a super duper and one's a veggie white sandwich. Oh, and you can see the coins as well. I have the letters and such, so. See you all next video. This great Aussie coin hunt is over.